simply stated as it applies to you and me, it means we can achieve nothing without paying the price. Now, Hi everyone, today we are solving for x on exponential problem. Uh, what we are doing today is that we are answering the question that was asked by a grade 11 learner. The question was asked on Facebook, on the group, all right, on the page there. Okay, so what we are having is solve for x. When we look at the problem, it's exponential problem. So there are three things that you need to know, all right. Or, uh, number one, you need to rearrange the equation. Number two, you need to factorize by common factor. Number three, you need to solve the remaining exponential equation. So by rearranging, I mean that you need to group the terms that has got x on the left hand side, or you can group them on the right hand side, it's fine, but they must be on the on one side of the equation, okay? So in this case, everything is good. We can straight away start uh, doing what we have to do. Right, um, let's go through this problem. That is 2 to the power of x plus, right, we have got 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of 1, which give us what? 24. Guys, basically what is happening here is that we are on this problem. We are multiplying the same basis there. So it means we need to add the exponent. So that is 2 to the power of x plus 1. All right. So if you do a reverse, this is what you are going to have. All right. You need to take out the common factor. Okay. So the common factor, we are having two terms. 1, 2. So the common factor is this one, 2 to the power of x, 2 to the power of x. So if I write 2 to the power of x there, that side I'm left with 1 plus, I take 2 to the power of x there, I'm left with 2 to the power of 1, close bracket, that is equal to what? 24. Now 2 to the power of x multiplied by 3, 2 plus, plus 1 guys, that will give us 3. Eh? Right, so we have got 24 then. After that, we need to divide by what? By 3, because we don't need that 3 there. So if we divide 3 and 3 cancel that side, so what we are having is 2 to the power of x is equal to, when you divide 24 by 3, you will get 8. Okay? So now, you'll have 2 to the power of x is equal to, you will change 8, right? 8 in exponential form, so that will be 2 to the power of 3. As a result, the basis are the same. We equated the exponent. So therefore, x is equal to what? 3. Okay, that was problem number 1. Let's go check problem number 2. All right, on problem number 2, the same method is going to happen. First, you rearrange the equation. Second, you take out a common factor. And then the last one, you just solve the remaining equation. Okay, so let's rearrange here. So we have 3 to the power of x plus 1. This one, we take it to the left hand side. We transpose. So that will be minus 3 to the power of x minus 1. That is equal to what? 8. Okay, so now we separate this. So we're going to have 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 1. Because when we multiply the same basis, we add exponents. So that is x plus 1 there. So this is the one that we have. All right. Guys, this side, we know that when we divide the same basis, we subtract exponents. Okay. So it means, because of that minus there, it only means that we are dividing the what? The same basis. The base is 3. So you take 1 and then subtract the exponent. That will be x minus what? Minus 1. So that is exactly what we are having. That is equal to 8 then. Now, you look at the problem. We are having how many terms? 1, 2, right? What do we have in common? 3 to the power of x, 3 to the power of x. So we take it out as a common factor. So let's do that. 3 to the power of x is our common factor. We are left with what? 3 to the power of 1 minus. When we take this 3 to the power of x, we are left with 1 there over what? 3 to the power of 1, OK? So close bracket, that is equal to what? 8. Now, 3 to the power of x 
open bracket, just say 3 multiply by 3. That will give you 9 minus 1. That is 8, right? So it's 8 over what? Over 3. Close bracket. That is equal to what? 8. Okay? So now you need to get rid of this. You don't need this. You do not need 8 over 3. So what do you do? You multiply by 3 over what? Over 8. That is called multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay? So this side you will also have 3 over what? 8. So now uh, 8 and 8 they cancel. 3 and 3 cancel. What you are left with is 3 to the power of x which is equal to 8 and 8 cancel which is equal to what? 3. All right. Now the bases are the same. You need to equate the exponent. So there the exponent that you are having is 1. So the answer will be